Hello friend, this is Ryan Hicks at HotToProfit.com and today I want to talk to you about why you must get rid of time wasters. There are many things that can come to waste your time, almost temptations of sorts. Now, it's not always things, it could be other people. There could be people in your life that you get around and you just talk about useless things, the weather and just things of no value, no eternal importance, no even temporal importance, just no importance at all. And it's just wasting your time. Sometimes you need to pull back from people like that who are wasting your time, who are not talking about anything of substance. Now, of course, you have to make sure that you are not contributing to that. Are you adding valuable, useful information to the conversation? Or are you just going along with their babbling? Because that's important. You can't blame them if you're contributing to the babbling about the weather and babbling about sports and babbling about this and that then you're part of the problem. But these kind of things, they seem trivial. It seems like it doesn't really matter. It's no big deal. But you can waste 10 minutes here and 20 minutes there and five minutes there until you've wasted hours of your day on trivial, useless, completely wasteful endeavors that you could have put into more profitable endeavors. Now, I'm not talking about profitable just as far as finances. I'm talking about just profitable in general. It could be praying. It could be meditating on the scripture. It could be talking up the word of God to somebody. It could be talking and just speaking forth affirmations. It could be sitting down and visualizing. Those are all productive, profitable endeavors that are way more valuable than babbling to someone about nothing. Just talking just to talk. But this comes in other ways. You know, I don't know how many times I've had people tell me that they were just killing time. They're playing video games on their phone and just doing time wasting activities. Literally, the purpose of the activity is to waste time. That's not the person who is redeeming the time because the days are evil. We are to be redeeming the time, using our time for the most productive and valuable endeavors that we can, not wasting it. It is not something to be thrown away. Now think of it this way, since most people, even though they're not honest about it, they love money. If you told them, I'm just wasting some money, they would probably have some rebuke for you. But when someone says they waste their time, there's no rebuke to be found. It's like, oh yeah, me too. But your time is far more valuable than money. You could always earn more money, but you can't earn more time. I guess you could theoretically by eating a vegan diet and exercising and doing things that are healthful. So you extend your life. But you're not earning more time. You're just making sure you don't end your time earlier. You don't get that time back. Time is the last thing you should be wasting. Even though the world would argue with you about wasting money, where it comes to something of real importance, your time, no one says a thing. You have to rise up above that mentality. Your time is not here to be wasted. You do not exist to just exist. Like a potted plant just sitting there existing. You have value and you have things and value that you can add to the world that you're not doing if you're wasting time, if you're killing time. Your time should be redeemed. It should be used in the most productive and useful and effective manner that you possibly can use it in. Not wasted not trivialized, not thrown away, not killed. And there can even be things in self-improvement that people will do that is wasting time. If you're watching videos such as mine and you're getting information from them, but you're never applying any of that, you're wasting your time. It's in one ear and out the other because it's not being applied. It's useless to you. Videos like mine, there's all kinds of videos. There's billions of videos online that are about self-development and self-help and self-improvement, following God, walking in his grace, becoming more like him. Well, there's probably not a lot like that. There's probably not billions like that. But I make thousands of them. But if you're not applying them, you're just wasting your time. You can watch all the thousands of my videos I've made over the years. But if you don't apply anything I've said, you don't put any of it into action, you're just wasting your time. 
And I'm not telling you that so you stop watching my videos. Of course not. I want you to watch them. But I want you to actually apply them. I would think it would be very useful and very wise for you to take notes. Anything that stands out if I'm making a video. Anything that stands out that I've said that really resonates with you. Write that down and see a way that you can apply that to your life. A way that you can take action on that thought immediately. Now, maybe it's something that you can't immediately apply. It will require the next day or whatever. That's all right. But just you're going to take action on it as soon as it possibly can be done. Because you don't want to waste your time. Life is short. The scripture talks about it. It's like grass that fades. That's how short our life is. And if you're young, it seems like life goes on forever. And if you're older, it seems like life is super quick. There is a relativity about it that it, it changes as you get older. and It seems like it's going by even faster. Don't waste your time. Do not allow your time to be wasted by another person, by yourself, by things that you think you need to do that you don't need to be doing. There are all kinds of things that people do in their business that's called busy work. It's just useless little things here and there that don't really accomplish anything of any value. I'm going to straighten my desk. I'm going to go move some books over here. I'm going to research this thing over here. It's just all stuff just to waste time. It's just to look like you're doing something busy. Look like you're being active. But you know deep down in your heart that's not really useful work. Cut that stuff out. If some of that stuff maybe really needs to get done, can you hire someone to do that? It might be as simple as just a freelancer can do that stuff for you one hour a day. And then you can put your one hour a day that was used on that useless stuff that you didn't need to be doing because somebody else could do it much more efficiently and better than you. And you could put your time on the things that actually are profitable for you, whatever that may be. Like I said, it doesn't have to just be about money and about making profit financially. It could be your visualization, your affirmations. Many people say they don't have time for that which I don't understand how it's possible. If you drive in a car anytime during the day, you could say some affirmations. And don't tell me this stuff, well, what will people think about me? Who cares? You're going to live your life in shame and fear of what other people think of you, or are you just going to be the bold, righteous person that you are, say your affirmations, and not care what anyone thinks? The reality is probably most people don't even care. They're not even looking at you anyway. So drive down the road and say your affirmations. Obviously, you can't visualize very well driving down the road because most people, it's easier with their eyes closed. You can't do that, obviously, when you're driving. But I know in the past, I've visualized while I drove. My eyes were open. I was paying attention to the road and everything. But I was imagining in my mind that I was driving the vehicle that I wanted to be driving while I was driving my regular car. So there are things like that you can do where you can incorporate visualization into that. You can get a lot more use out of your time, more productivity out of your time, if you will find creative ways to do it. But one of the biggest things you can do to actually have time to do these more profitable endeavors is to not be wasting time. And my friend, if you'll take up that mentality and just say, I am going to redeem the time and really approach life that way, you will watch as your productivity soars, your blessings soar. You just will start seeing the windows of heaven opened unto you and all of God's blessing pouring out on you. Because the person that takes their time seriously like that and doesn't waste it, is not frivolous about it, doesn't treat it like it's unworthy of their time, so to speak, that person is rewarded greatly by God for their wise use of the time they've been given. My friend, I pray this is a blessing for you. May God bless you richly.